We are now producing a weekly half hour 100 Huntley Street for the United States. With a new on-air team, which includes hosts Eric Metaxas and April Hernandez. And from North Carolina, Tanner Keith, who is bringing special reports. Something you, you trained to do, Tanner. You found your sweet spot. I did. It took me a while. I was actually going the pre-med route, and then, um, you know, it was a God thing. He led me out to California, and um, I started at the Annenberg School for Broadcast Journalism. And um, so that's kind of where my heart really was. I want to find out a whole lot more about you, but I thought it would be fun, a heart warmer, to look <laughs> at one of your, a portion of one of your reports. Set it up for us. This is a report that I got to do with someone very close to me. This is um, with my brother-in-law, pro golfer Webb Simpson. Um, yes, he married my sister about, I think, three years ago. And so he let me come out and play around with him, and he taught me how to play golf. I thought I was going to teach him how to play, but no, he taught me. So you'll see in the clip that I may not be as good as I think. And where is this sunny location? Watch for the cacti. This is in Tucson, Arizona. Oh, glorious. It was beautiful. It was 85 degrees and, oh, it was, it was beautiful weather. Okay, this is a gift already. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm receiving, I'm receiving. Let's have some fun with Tanner. So obviously I don't need a whole lot of help with this because I'm already a pro and I've been practicing. Yeah. But I'll let you teach me something, okay. a little something. I'm going to give you a couple little tips. Um, and then, then I'll give you some tips. Okay. I brought my pen and paper. <laughs> um, this is a basic chip. Um, and all you really want to think about is you want to narrow your stance up. I see too many people getting way too wide. So narrow your stance up. And you can see the, the club is leaning forward a little bit. This is just going to allow me to have better contact with the ball. So that's all I'm doing is those two things in my setup. And then I'm just going to make a really simple swing. This is going to go in, isn't it? Uh, that was pretty close. Right, you want to try? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Closer. <laughs> See, that club face looks good there. Shook them off straighter. All right. See? That That's was so really better. good. I might go in. I'm ready for a career in golf, right? Pretty much. Cool. We need a four. That was probably there. That's about all I got for you. I don't think I can help you much. <laughs> well, I don't think that maybe grass isn't my thing, so maybe I'll spend some time in the sand. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, that was too much fun. How bad was that? But I will have you know that that shot that went right next to the hole, that was not good editing. That was completely me. A way, a way to go there. I mean, that the no smoke and mirrors, well done. You've but I was so bad. Talent. And I am not better in the sand. <laughs> I am much worse in the sand than I was on the green. Oh, I don't think <laughs> golf was ever intended to be played in sand. That's the whole problem. <laughs> Oh, Tanner, you, you didn't uh, just kind of drop out of the sky. You've, you've been battered and molded into the shape mm -hmm. of God's vision for you. I, I was stunned to read about one horrific year as a parent of uh, right now one university student. You know, we always worry about them going off to university. In one year, your first year, cyber bullied, mm -hmm. attacked by an armed robber and stalked by a university employee. It was quite a year. It Devil definitely had your was. Number. Yes, um, it was. It was a very hard year, but to be honest, I'm thankful for it because I grew a whole lot. Um, I grew up in a very strong Christian household, and um, 
going to church and praying. It was always it was always part of my life, but I don't believe that I really had a relationship with with God until after I went through everything at college. And it was kind of this molding process that he was he was putting me through and I think that I really had to kind of hit rock bottom for him to grab hold of my heart. Um, I thought college was going to be such a great experience. I loved high school, you know, I played tons of sports. I had lots of friends and and it was a great experience so I thought that's what college was going to be like um, and you know when I got there I had was in for a little bit of a rude awakening um, but I think that I spent a lot of my high school centered around myself and I was very uh, focused on what was going to make me happy in life and how I was going to serve myself not how I was going to serve God um, so anyways when I when I went to college there was um, this this website called Juicy Campus and it's an anonymous website where anyone can post anything and they are not held accountable for their words and I became the most discussed topic on this website very um, hurtful things some nice things but extremely hurtful things and some slanderous things as well um, so that was that was hard for me and I really held that in and didn't want to share with anyone what I was going through because I felt it was a weakness to show vulnerability um, and then on this website I had a um, university employee solicit me for sex and he continued to contact me afterwards and, and was stalking me. Um, and then in the middle of all of this, I was on my way home from class one night and um, I was attacked by an armed robber. Thankfully, I got away. Unfortunately, there was another girl um, who followed me who did not get away. And it was just, she went through a very difficult time, as you can imagine. Um, so- Was she, she was assaulted? Yes. So it was, it was a hard time, but it was a huge growing experience. And it was through this that I really, I was very alone. And um, my only, you know, the only person that I felt that I had to turn to was God. And I was just very fortunate that I had that foundation from a young um, age. You know, we pray that our children who've been raised with all the right stuff will actually have an encounter with Jesus mm -hmm. so that the, the community and the lifestyle, the culture they've become familiar with, uh, actually morphs into a personal relationship, a trust relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tough way to come by it, but thank God for what you have today. Did your parents know you were going through all this? I did not let them know for a long time. And um, I actually lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. um, I had chronic hives for a year and I had chronic stomach pain. So, and I, you know, I was like, this can't be a result of stress. I went to doctors all over the place and they said, it's stress, you're stressed. And so finally um, I broke down and I shared with my mom kind of what I had been going through. And it broke her heart that I hadn't come to her sooner. But, you know, I felt that I had to be strong and I felt that I really had to stand on my own. And, um, but that's such a lie, that's not true. I think God surrounds you with people in your life so that they can support you and, and help you through the difficult Absolutely. times. Absolutely. And obviously the Lord didn't let you down. He came through in a way that has changed you. He did. He uh, can't imagine did. getting any studies done. And maybe that's part of the reason you changed universities, <laughs> went to California. Well, I actually um, had the opportunity to move out to California and take some time off for school, um, from school, excuse me. And so, I got out there and really just wanted to get away. I just wanted to restart my life and um, find out who I really was. And I can tell you that the moment that I really encountered God, it was such a strong moment and it just makes me so excited to think about, um, you know, when I got to California, I felt like everything should be perfect. I'm starting my life over and it wasn't, it wasn't. I was still needed to grow and I was extremely lonely. And I remember being in my car one day and I was crying and I was mad at God. And I was like, why are you putting me through this? And why, I just feel so alone. And I was looking down when I was saying this prayer and I kid you not, I was at a stoplight. I looked up and there was a billboard in front of me. And the only thing that it said is you are not alone. Oh. So to me, that was really where I just was like, you're right, God, 
you have it. It's all yours and I'm going to trust you and you just guide me and lead me and he, he did and um, so I'm just forever thankful for um, all the experiences that I went through. You nailed it. I mean, you, you've discovered already that God wastes nothing of our experience and it's thrilling to see that you have, out of all of this, a passion to help children really get that relationship early in their lives. Hugely. So when I was in California, um, I got accepted to the University of Southern California and found this passion for broadcast journalism. I love to talk to people. I love to get to know people and really hear their stories. Mm -hmm. um, so I was working in a news environment, which was a secular environment, which was, it was hard. Um, it was definitely a challenge for me with my faith. And um, so I ended up moving back to Charlotte and taking a little time off to really figure out what I wanted to do. If I really wanted to do news or, um, you know, just wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. So while I was in Charlotte, I got a call from this ministry that my family has supported for a long time and they had an open uh, position. The ministry is called Youth Commission and we start Christian clubs in middle and high schools for students um, and they're completely right. student led. And so it's very exciting because it's hard to get into schools um, and we have we have that in and um, so you know I've been a part of that ministry for two years now I love it I love that it's growing and we have 165 clubs locally just in North Carolina and then you know we're in West Virginia South Carolina Texas we have so many clubs over in Kenya Africa and and I just think it's a great place because I think that kids have a place to go on the weekend. They have Sunday school, they have church, but you really need that accountability in your life um, during the week and on your school campus. Well, I am thrilled that we can seize you now. <laughs> um, obviously you like traveling and you love stories and that's what you're going to be bringing to the new edition of 100 Huntley Street uh, being seen all over America. Tanner, so good to get to know you a little bit. God bless you in your ministry. Thank you, I'm very excited to be here.